Flush After Listening, the show where you listen, we talk, and really don't give a shit if you like it or not. Unfortunately, my co-host, Mr. Dennis O'Connor, has passed away. He passed away in May of 2021. So I'm going to lose a great, great part of what we've done between him and I. Dennis and I did this for a few years, and he was the best at uh, jumping in on things that I said and did. And um, without him, obviously, I can't interact the way I did. That being said, I'm not sure if I'll continue or not. I really have no fucking interest in doing it. Um, I only did it with him because it was quite honestly just natural conversation between the two of us. And always was. So, though I'm saddened by the loss of Dennis, I know um, he's probably in a better place. At least he doesn't have to deal with the bullshit of life and aggravation and taxes and bills and the government and riots and hoopla and coronavirus and mask or no mask, gloves or no gloves, social distance or no social distance, new strains of the virus, old strains of the virus, condom or no condom, uh, I just threw that in there, uh, life in general. Uh, Just a a merry-go-round of uncertainty. We never know, day to day, what in the hell is going to happen next. That being said, I guess we have to just continue on in the momentum that we want to carry on in. We should probably be alert of those that we care about that are good to us because most people treat you like shit, let's be honest. And you can trust about an eighth, if you're lucky, of the people that are around you. Fortunately, some of us have good family. And unfortunately, some of us don't. So that being said, I think it's probably best if... And I'm no sage uh, prophet or wise man or enlightened idiot but um, I would say to continue on in the future it's probably best if we um, what's the best way to say it if we embrace every moment of life that we can because you know shit we'll be dead and we'll embrace nothing than dirt then at that point Enjoy the people around you. Enjoy the things around you. Do what you like to do. I mean, don't worry about uh, this one's rules or that one's rules. or If this is no good for you, that's no good for you. Everything in moderation, folks. I don't think we should ever deny ourselves any little bit of enjoyment that we enjoy in this world. I think it's probably best if we go as far as we can go with things that we enjoy to do. Albeit, if it's abuse of things, right to the top of my mind comes alcohol and drugs. But I mean, there's other things too. Overeating, overworking, oversexing. Although I don't know how you can abuse that. I guess we should try, it's hard for me, but I guess we should try to smile and be happy. I don't know why the hell you would, but I guess it's probably best to try to. Because if not, things are miserable, and quite honestly, the misery um, resonates through the rest of your life. And that's not a good thing. I'm smoking a cigar here, so if there's dead air between the words I'm saying, it's because I'm trying to keep this lousy thing lit. My lighter is out of reach, so I can't just... It's The convenience of relighting it is not there. And there's a bit of wind. So it's difficult for me to... Keep it uh, burning. 
hold on to what's dear to you folks. That's all I can say. It's, bullshit in life is going to get worse. It's going to get better. It's going to get neutral. It's going to go up. It's going to go down. It's going to go left, right. It's going to go across the field and back across the field or whatever terminology you want to use. But I think it's probably prudent and smart to try to make the best of what you can. You know the old saying, make lemonade out of lemons or whatever it is. Do it. Try it. What the hell do you got to lose? Do whatever you can do because in the end when you're laying there and you feel the last breath of life coming out of your body, you don't want to sit there making uh, a list of things in your mind you didn't do and wanted to do. I think that's a waste of time. So push ahead, push forward, and uh, try to do those things that put a smile on your face or give your heart a rush or make you feel alive. That's really all we can do. I mean, nobody's figured out this entire life process, and by the time they do, they're dead. And at that point, I don't think they'd be able to come back and tell you, unless you believe in ghosts and soothsayers and clairvoyancy and all that which I don't so when you're dead you're dead folks it's like a car a car runs until the motor dies in it and then the car doesn't run anymore then you take the car to the junkyard and you crush it in the case of human life you bury it or burn it or whatever means of removal you decide to use for the human remains very gruesome very dim But that's the truth. That's a cold, hard reality. And I don't like to bullshit the public, so I speak directly from the heart. I don't speak with a script. I don't speak with anything in front of me. I just say how I feel. <clears throat> that's how we've always done this show and all of our other shows. Might, might have been part of the reason we were successful, because we didn't have time to make things up. And when you speak directly and honestly, I think people hear you better. I think they pay attention. I think they know. A huge percentage of the population is completely idiots. They're completely moronic. But the ones that are in tune, when they hear, they know. When they see, they know. When they feel, they know. When they touch, they know. When they walk around and embrace things and take things in, they know. Whatever that means. So, if you're thinking about... Excuse me, putting off anything, waiting. I've always heard people say, we're waiting until a certain point to have children. Well, I've heard from the wisest people, <clears throat> those who have had children and those who have started their lives together, that if you wait you'll to a certain point and plan it, it'll never happen. Just like everything. It won't happen unless you make it happen. Just make things happen. You know, quit screwing around and dicking around with the details. If you want to go to Hawaii, go to Hawaii. If you want to go to Jibip, go to Jibip. If you want to try on your wife's dress, try it on. I, I, whatever turns you on, I don't care. I'm, I, I'm open to anything. I don't give a damn. Life's too short, and that's the theme, I think, if there is a theme of what I've been saying for the past few minutes, I think that's the theme. Quite honestly, I don't know if I ever had a theme in anything we ever did, but it seems like that's my theme tonight. Smoke the cigar, drink the beer, ride the roller coaster. Go on that outrageous vacation. Spend extra money on something that you really think would make you happy. Money's not the is not the catalyst of happiness. We've learned that from many, many, many famous celebrities or wealthy people. But it sure doesn't hurt to have a lot. I love when people say money isn't the uh, root of happiness. Usually, the people that say that are the people that have money. The people that don't have money will disagree with that. 
110%. And again, if you're handed money, it's a lot different than earning money. So I think the wisdom behind that is <clears throat> don't let money dictate what you do. But if there's an opportunity to make it, make it. And spend it wisely. And by wisely, I mean not on the fucking stock market and not on um, uh, nonsense things. Spend it on taking your family on vacation. Spend it on buying your wife or your husband um, whatever, that thing they want. To be, Don't be so selfish with it. And don't always be killing yourself to get more because you're missing sight of the fact of what it's really about, which is to enjoy the moment and that time. Too many people get caught up in the almighty dollar and it's really not that almighty. I'm not going to go religious on you here because everybody has their own beliefs. <clears throat> and I'm not going to express mine or ask you yours. I'm not going to question yours. I'm not going to justify mine. I'm not going to justify yours. I don't really care what you believe in, to be honest. But believe in the fact that there is a value to a life spent, no pun intended, with not spending and more concentrating on the almighty dollar. Because when you die, folks, it doesn't matter how much money you have. Unless you're leaving it all behind to kids or family. or. <clears throat> but it doesn't really matter. You know this to be true. Those of you who are focused and in tune and have a bit of a brain know this. It's not a, I'm not saying anything revolutionary or eye opening or groundbreaking. Coming down from the ages, this has been passed on through various people. I just had a, Large bug land on me outside, so that's why I got a little bit interrupted there for a second, but I'm back. I dealt with the situation and removed the problem. <laughs> so, <clears throat> you know, it's summertime. <clears throat> Get out there and hit the beach, hit the pool, go on that camping trip, take the long ride, take a long walk. Sit outside and look up at the stars, the trees, while the leaves are still here. We only have two months, three months, maybe a good weather, at least here in New Jersey. And then it all goes to shit, and we wind up getting cold again and complaining. Although people complain about the heat, <clears throat> they complain about the cold, they complain about this, they complain about that and everything. The only thing I complain about is the cold. I love the heat. 100 degrees here today, you didn't hear me complaining. If it was 30 degrees, you'd hear me bitching like a maniac. So it's a beautiful time of year. In my opinion, it's the best time of year. <clears throat> Summer's the most beautiful, most rewarding, most pleasurable time of year. So get out there and enjoy it, whether it's hot or not. Go to the park. If you're in the city and you don't have much open area, get out there and take a walk to the park. Drive out of the city. Go to this country. Go somewhere. Just do it. Quit hitting the pause button, man. Open that pause button and let that cassette roll. Let the cassette of life play. God's sake, you, 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 your time is limited. We keep forgetting that until something happens and somebody goes away or we're hit with some serious shit that knocks us on our ass and then we realize, I'm not Superman, I'm not infinite. I'm very finite and my time is limited. Hold on to those words, take them for what they're worth. I really don't care if you do or you don't. It's just a little piece of advice I've learned in 51 years of life. I'm trying to get better at that too. I'm, a, I'm, not, I'm kind of hypocritical here because I'm not doing all the things I'm saying, but I've learned to do them. And I'm starting to do them little by little. You should too. Anyway. To Dennis, wherever he may be. Godspeed, my friend. To everyone else listening, get out there and live your life. Don't mull around and be an ass. Talk again soon. Later. <laughs>